Why is it important for a dancer to understand the meaning of the story, learn the lyrics of the song they are dancing to? It is very important. It is really very important. So I ha uh, have understood this during my Ranga Pravesham journey because, you know, uh, it is very important to learn the lyrics and the meaning to it. Because we're, uh, what we're doing on stage is we're actually telling the story without talking, right? We're, we're moving our hands and legs and our eyes, everything, everything on your body. So uh, basically you're conveying a story to the audience, right? So when you do not know the meaning and lyrics and not the story if you don't know the story behind those lyrics like what do you want to convey to the audience like it will go all over the place so i have understood this during my ranga pravesham journey because you know uh, what sandhyaka used to do for me in the journey of my ranga pravesham uh, during my practices literally i used to sit down with her with my lyrics of my song and the meaning so each word to word meaning, we used to sit and I used to learn all my lyrics and the meanings to those lyrics. And she used to, uh, we used to research on the stories. She used to tell me a lot of stories behind that particular lyric. So, so what happens when you know the lyrics and meanings of the story? I mean, uh, meaning of the lyrics. So you'll easily convey it to the audience when you're convinced in your mind that this story has happened, it'll be very easier to the audience to understand while you're performing that story, right? So it is very important. So I would say in my Ranga Pravation practice, I would sit down and learn the stories more than dancing. So I would sit down with Sandhyaka, she used to tell me stories. That is, that is when you feel your heart is dancing on stage, right? Yeah. So when you, when you know the story, when you know the lyrics and the meaning, you'll easily convey to the audience. So it is major part. So that is one practice I did for my run operation. So it is very important. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think yeah. one of the main things, my teacher does explain it pretty much in detail. I think for one of the items, she explained it so much that, you know, when I was doing the Sanchari, I think this was for Kamakshi Sukti, if you know that. Mm -hmm. So where like Parvati, where that guy comes, I forgot the name, but he um, he gets turned into ashes because he tries, he tries to like get Shiva's attention and everything. I think yeah, yeah, she yeah. explained it so well that like when I'm doing this, especially like the Sanchari part, like I know like, Sometimes when you do the Sanchari parts, like when you make the circles and stuff, it's like, you need to know like your character over there. And then like, yeah, I think that's exactly. the most important because if it's all jumbled up, you'll not know, like the audience won't know. So like if Shiva's here, like Parvati, if she's like doing puja to him, like she wouldn't be like really like behind him or like so close to him, you know, she'd be somewhere else. And like, so I think that's also like super important that I, that's what I, that's what my teacher taught me, especially like with the Sanchari parts, that it's very important, like of your, of like the characters and like where they're at. Yeah, it is very important. So I have my Ranga Pravesham book, it's like all the five items I did. So I had word to word meaning. I used to sit down and buy hard those. And I used to do a lot of researches about the story because once you know the story, it is very easy to convince the audience and convey the message to the audience, right? So that is when you get to connect with the audience. So you just can't go like, okay, I, take, I do the step now, I do this expression. When you feel it from the heart and you know what is the soul behind that lyrics and the meaning, so it'll, it'll come out. So your heart will dance more than your legs. Yeah. Um. So I sort of, we sort of already went over this, but um, like, how is your rung and profession like repertoire decided? So like, can you talk more about like, um, like 
when it was coming closer, like how you felt or like on the day of the program and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I have waited for my Ranga Pravesham day so badly for two years, literally for two years. So I have worked really hard. Uh, so I was waiting for that day to come. So I was practicing. I've learned all my five items with Sandarka. So I've learned all my five items and I was practicing daily. So every day I used to practice my repertoire. So, uh, and then date was not decided. And then in 2018, uh, February, Sandhyaka was like, okay, now you're ready. We'll set the date. So I thought we'll get, you know, like three to five months. And then we decided, uh, she was like, Okay, let's do it in April. Okay, that she told me on that she told me in February. Okay, so February was, some, yeah. yeah. So February was okay. Uh, April was fine. Okay, maybe I'll do it last weekend of uh, April. So first date that was decided for my Ranga operation was April twenty fifth or twenty twenty sixth in two thousand eighteen, and then after ten days. Sandhya was like, you're pre-poning your Ranga Pravesham to April 8th. Oh. And I was like, okay. So it has to happen. So no matter what, it has to happen. So it, it is okay if it got pre-poned. Now I was practicing and there was one week for my Ranga Pravesham. And I felt sick. I bet. Because... I was so nervous. My heart fell in my stomach. So I was so nervous that I fell sick. I went to the doctor. I had I got fever. I got cold, cough. <laughs> so I was that nervous. So there's a funny thing that Gangala says. She says, every performance you fall sick. Uh, sick. I don't understand how. So tell your mind that you're not performing today. So that you won't fall sick and, you know, all this shit happens. Yeah. So, so I felt sick before my Ranga Pravesh, just a week before that. And I took two days break of not doing dance. And then I was back. And then when that day came, imagine, I was like, okay, this is happening. I got so nervous that day. But I, like I said, just before entering on that stage, everything, every all my hard work, and everything came in front of my eyes. I was like, so you have worked very hard. Just kill it on stage. Just kill it. So that is how my Ranga Pravesham date <laughs> was decided. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good journey. Yeah. It was lots of ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I gonna... Oh, right. So about um, like how I haven't, I don't do that many performances in general. Like, I think my parents, my dad specifically wanted me to focus on education. So I haven't done like too many like performances. And then I think ninth grade, there was a big dance drama and then I couldn't do it because I fractured my ankle. So mm -hmm. it was just, it was, it was so bad. So, I mean, I was like the person that, you know, when they like speak about like the I don't know, like speak at the podium about like what the songs are. I would be the person that would act it out because I finally came out of my cast. And so my teacher's like, I want you to be a part of this. She was like, when she found when she found out about that, she was like sort of upset because she was like, I really wanted you to do this, like so bad. So that happened. And then I never really, I don't know, for some reason, like when you dress up like in all that stuff, I feel like it's so stressful. Like I like it, yes, but I feel like sometimes like if like your hair is like heavy or like, <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I just feel like sometimes it's like harder to like, uh, you know, like if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. Like, I it. like you sometimes you have to get like, I don't know if ever, someone can ever get used to it. But um, it's just like so much stuff on your body that you have to carry. Yeah. You know, it's like, especially like 
even I saw in your Monica Shepton video, your earrings started falling off, right? So yeah. Like, then even at some of my, um, like some of my uh, dance students at my academy, like one girl's earring fell off during throwing them and it fell on her plate and she started bleeding on her leg. <laughs> So oh. I don't know, like, just like, and then like one of my other dance friends, her necklace just like fell off. So I don't know, yeah, like yeah. those things, like, I just, like, I don't think it's scary, but like, you just, it's just so like, like, it's so tenseful, like, if you know what I mean, like, it's so like, like, how, do you, do you remember when your earrings started to fall off? Like, how you Yeah, <laughs> so like I said, when, when you're so involved, in what you're doing so I didn't know that my earring fell um, but uh, my mother and my brother were on uh, they were like standing behind the stage and everything. they saw my earring fall and they got so scared that I'll go put on put my feet on that earring so they were like so, I think you're actually more conscious about that sometimes like I don't know what it is but I've seen people like it happened to me before where I would just like I think I could see it out of the corner of my eye and I would just like dance around it where I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So I did, I actually didn't know that my earring fell. Oh. I, I knew something was just falling out. I didn't care Yeah. because I can't do anything about that. Yeah, now. I know you can't do it. Right. So I didn't want to spoil my mind because of them. So I didn't. It was really good. I knew that. something was falling. I thought maybe my headset or, you know, my earring or some flower or something but I didn't care because it is my lung operation I have waited for two years so I just don't want to spoil it with that earring falling yeah so yeah I think also like you said you waited two years like yeah so I think in eighth grade my teacher told me she's like I think you're ready and she sort of wanted me to do it and then you know I came to high school and then everything just started to like go like haywire I had like like mental health struggles and all that so I think with that it sort of like like put me off and then eighth grade I joined this um basketball team to play for mm. one season. and after that I fractured my ankle so it was just like everything started to mess up ever since eighth grade now I'm going into 12th grade like she wanted <laughs> to do it and she thought I was ready and she only tells when people are ready basically I mean like sometimes parents yeah parents, but I think also what I've noticed, I feel like when you're older and you do it, like you can, your expressions come out better and like stuff like that. True. true. If you know yeah. what I mean. So, yeah. so that, when you're mature and done, your emotions will come out. Yeah. Yeah. And also just, I've been waiting for a long time too, but so I'm taking the ACT or SAT. So we want to set a day after that. So I think <laughs> she wanted me. When, to are you, when are you writing your exam? Um, exam, the SAT summer. exam. Yeah, the summer. So I need to score well. So one of the motivations for me is, honestly, I'm not very, like, I was never good at education. Like, I was always, like, mm. I did not like school. I would always, like, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say fool around, but, like, um, I just wasn't that kid that was, um, like, that liked school. I was, like, never super smart. So I would say, like, for these tests, I get so, like, I don't know. I just don't think, you know, when people say it's a life or death to get into college, I'm literally like, no, it's not. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's not. It's not. So one of my motivations Trust me, it's my not. Is, is just like, I get a good score the first time so we can set a rung of probation date. Because it, I've been waiting <laughs> for so long. And it's not even that. Like, I'm sort of glad that I didn't do it when I was, like, super young. Because I feel like even she told me that, like, my stamina and my expressions got better like in general hmm. so I've been waiting such a long time so it's just that like that test that I'm sort of working on right now so she wants me to do it this year so like I'm just like yeah I'm like I don't know I'm not like scared but, like you know how people feel like like it's a beautiful so. journey you know it's a beautiful journey the practices you do and and you know uh, during your rung operation, you actually get closer to your teacher. Yeah. So that is really nice also. So it is a very beautiful process. So don't miss any moment. Like, live it. Yeah. Live it. You won't get your rung operation back again. 
so there's you you do your anga prayasham only once in your life it's like marriage right yeah so at least in marriage you can you have second chances or third chances of getting uh, doing marriage again you can marry again but then anga prayasham is just one anga prayasham so yeah. just live it to the fullest i'm telling you it's a beautiful journey Yeah, one of the things that I've noticed here, I don't know about India because I've never lived there, but people sort of often like rush to do it, and then like mm. after they think it's like the end, I'm like, no, it's not the end. Like, what are exactly. you? Exactly. It's not the end. Yeah. So people generally, I think. So in my dance school, I would say there's one college student. She finished her runga probation in I think 2018. I think she was in college at that time, and. she's the most senior most student and i think there's a couple very few high schoolers and um mm. there's some middle schoolers but no there's like no no one's really older like everyone left because they're like oh like job or like college i'm like if you really like it you'll find time i don't think yeah i really feel like <laughs> when they quit they're wasting the teacher's time and you're wasting your time it's just not I just don't think it's worth yeah. it and starting it if you know. I mean, sometimes people have different circumstances and I understand, but you know when people have that mentality like after runga probation, like I can just quit. Like, no. Yeah, this is gone. Yeah. See, yeah. runga probation is just a beginning for your long dance career. Yeah. Yeah, so what is the point of uh, quitting dance after doing a runga probation? Yeah, I just like, I just never understood that. Um yeah. like I just think when you really like it like you would definitely find time to do it yeah. like somehow. Like True. no matter you what. You'll definitely you find, time. find time. Yeah. So, I have one question. So, how does you said you did five items for your run of probation? Yeah. Like, is that like the standard number or like how does all that work like at your academy? So so we have an invocation item we have a shabdam so we have um tarangam and we do a tilana and fifth uh and fifth item is you can do anything like naraniyam or mudgareshpada any of that manva so we usually have an invocation my invocation item so i did uh, gajavadana for my invocation item so i did uh, in shabdam i did uh, manduka shabdam that's one of my favorite shabdam, by the way that's really i love manduka so shabdam good. that story yeah. and the moral it's just so like it's yeah. amazing i i i really like it yeah yeah i love yeah. manduka shabdam and then uh, third one is tarangam so tarangam i did uh, shiva tarangam Yeah, that is one of my favorites, especially yeah. um, uh, uh, Kishore Masters' choreography. It's so yeah. like all of his choreographies are so good. Like I just can't yeah. say they're amazing. Shiva Tarang, Shiva Tarangam is amazing. Yeah. Like Shiva Shiva Baba Baba is one of my powerful items. Yeah. So yeah, it is one of the best Tarangams that I have seen. So yeah. I'm lucky. My repertoire is a beautiful repertoire, so I have a powerful item. I have a cute mudgareesh item, so I love my repertoire. So yeah, so I did mudgareesh that, and then I did a kundalvarali tilana. So so basically, we have an invocation item, shabdam, sarangam, tilana, and another fifth item. So that yeah, is like here, a standard. I don't thing. know what I've seen here is that generally teachers they. So I think I'm doing I can't even count. I think I'm doing seven items. Oh. And I te- I know, right? <laughs> like it's a lot. <laughs> and so when I heard about uh Nishrinkla as like like little like We do five items. Yeah, I was like that's like a pretty good amount because it's like I don't know, I feel like sometimes people do like so many. I'm literally just like how? Like sometimes I can see people's expressions. hands going down and I'm like yeah you're like about to be done so i think i yeah. have seven and my teacher kept telling me that like there was one i think ashtapadi that i really really like wait let me recollect what it's called i think it's radhika krishna 
And so I okay. asked her, can I do it? And she said, um, one of the things she takes into consideration, again, is like my mom's like, the people that my mom's going to invite and like, sort of like, if they don't know the song, they're just going to like, I don't know, they're like sleep or I don't know, like do something else. So like, that's one of like the hardest things, especially like, because if there's like an item I really like, but no one knows it, like, it's like, <laughs> it's not that I can do it. It's just that like, you want your audience's attention like yeah that's the point true for part of yeah. like this stuff so yeah so i have seven and so right now i finished i finished ganesha i finished um bala kanakumai and i finished i just finished the plate part on for all okay darangam and oh. um i finished mudugari and so i think my teacher she has like this like standard to like you have to do almost like um like not each god but so basically she, she said you had to have like a amavaru song so like mm -hmm. that's like what like i'm supposed to learn now and then i have that left in Dilana. and then she said it seems to me that you have so much energy and stamina and she's like, <laughs> even if you want and when we're done with the songs you can add one more <laughs> okay like that's great but I mean, like, I like that she has like so much confidence in me. But I don't know. Sometimes I just, I just feel scared. I'm like, I'm doing so many. Like, I just feel scared sometimes. Yeah, seven is too many, right? Yeah, it's like so. Like sometimes I get so scared. I'm like, yeah, like I'll have to have so much stamina for that. Like it's so. Yeah. Much. So yeah. That's why I started going to the gym and doing like, I think running. Was yeah. Fun. At first, like I literally hated working out, but now I'm literally just like. I'll at least do it to like have stamina and also funny thing that um so actually for one of my I think this was in 2017 when I was seventh grade so my teacher taught four or five kids Krishna Shabdam and so I don't know what it was I felt like I was a little too young for that mm -hmm. and I really liked the item it was so like it was really nice and so it was actually for a performance so she told me that she picked like four kids to do the performance and two of them were high school. One of them was a little older than me. And I was like, okay, I thought I could do it because if I put in the mm. practice and then I went, and <laughs> I remember like, I went to the rehearsal and, you know, parents started talking about me and they were like, oh, she is not like, she doesn't know her stuff, like blah, 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 blah. So it sort of like discouraged me. And I was like, can I really do this? And like, as a 14 year old, I was so like 14 or 13, I was so like, I had the most horrible self-confidence like possible like ever like I still do and I'm like so self-conscious but so like parents started saying that and all that and I like got like a little upset as I went home I played the video on the tv and I tried to practice it so I was like almost like broke out into tears and I was like I don't think I can do this and like all that and I did get so first I think I memorized everything but I don't know expressions were sort of hard for me because I, what I was only 13 like it was hard to like show that so I remember on the day so I just practiced it whatever I forgot I was like I'm not stressing about this because it's just I just can't do it because I think sometimes when I get so stressed out it's like so bad for me so on the day of the performance I was like freaking I was like should I do this or no so <laughs> I so I went and then um so in my academy I don't know what it is but like I think when my teacher sees like passion in some kid she like really really appreciates it sometimes like she like uses an example like if someone didn't practice or something so mm -hmm. she would always say me but honestly I don't know what it was I would just always like I would always try my best in class whether I knew the item or not she would show us the item and would be copying her. So that's like one of the good parts like about dance class like so if you didn't like if you didn't memorize it then she'd be showing you a video or she would show you herself so I went that day to the performance. I was so stressed out. I was like, can I do this? I was like, probably not. And then I don't know what, it was time to do the, like the performance, like the item. And then I was literally just like, I was like so stressed out. Like I was almost about to cry in my makeup. I was like, no, I can't cry. Like, come on. <laughs> and then I went backstage and I was just like sitting alone in the corner. And then like all these girls from my dance team came over and they're like, they knew about it somehow because you know parents were talking about it and all that and I was like 
I was so scared. I was like, what are they going to say? But no, they actually started saying like, oh, you're so good. Like you can do a ball. I was actually so surprised. I was like, like, what are they saying? Like, I was like, I was like in shock. I was like, are they really encouraging me? So I got so scared and then they were like, oh, you can do it. But then I was still a little doubtful and I was like, I don't want to look bad on stage and like tarnish my teacher's name. So I was like, I finally like the lady that was doing the like, saying the stuff on the podium she's like are you gonna do it or not (laughs) I was so stressed like I was like I want to do it because I really put in a lot of effort and time yeah and I was like but like I'm so like I I was at the point where I was I I could easily like blank out because I was like in such a bad mood so I finally figured I was like and also my dance teacher before she's like don't worry don't worry you can totally do it and I was like oh I don't think so and then the lady came and I was like finally I was like no like take my name off I'm not doing so I ended up not doing it but I think it was just that was just one of the scariest most like I think I learned from it but it was just like such a weird experience like yeah 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 so there will be point in our lives like we learn an item and then we see and then people is like it's not suitable for you and then they just think it's not right for you so that is when you go home and practice and show people that you can do that item yeah i know yeah, yeah i think it, i was just so young i was i think i was literally when i started hearing parents talk about i was literally like i was just a little girl i would say for like compared to now if someone says something, I'd be like, oh, I don't really care. Like, be quiet. Like, yeah. I would just sort of ignore them. And I learned like pretty good life skills, mm-hmm. but it took me a long way to get here. But then I was yeah. a little girl. I would, I would, I could literally just burst out into tears, like in front of everyone. Now I couldn't do that, but like, I would just, I was like so heartbroken. I was literally like, I still tried. And this is like what happened. So I was just so like, I was just so small. I don't think like I understood. So it was like, yeah. it was like such a, it was, I wouldn't say, I mean, yeah, it was a little awkward, but it was just such a, it was like an experience to learn from. Yeah. So that was like one of the things that like highlighted in like my little dance journey. Like I can never forget what happened. Yeah. There was a time then when I, when something was not right. And then I was not getting an emotion or an expression or uh, if something was going wrong in my Ranga Pravishan journey, I mean, by learning the item. So it was a lot of stress, right? Yeah. So I used to, uh, once I remember in my college, I I went to the washroom and I just cried for some time. Yeah. So there were such moments. So I think everybody goes through those uh such yeah, um, low Sometimes, moments like, I right like people that don't understand are like why are you crying over the small thing like no dad like it's not a small thing like small thing I yeah. don't think it's a small thing I think people that can't understand this like it's yeah I, I feel like we're so I feel like it's a special bond for us that like we're so connected true like, that like it yeah. like, I don't know dance also means like the world to me like I true, honestly true. don't know what else I would be doing like right yeah. now like, like I really like sports and that's sort of like where my career is going but I feel like it's sort of it like both things sort of help me if you know what I mean like with each yeah. other so, but yeah like it I feel like when people don't understand I get so frustrated like I'm literally just like no like this is so like yeah like like this is literally like life ending to me like not really but like something that yeah. like affect us so much. True. Yeah. True. So like the whole thing about like the story was just like, like I think my teacher has so much confidence in me, like or like any of her students, like when she knows that they're capable, she she pushes them even harder, and she's really like yeah. yeah. She's I think she can basically I think teachers in general can literally just tell like potentials. Of true. Students. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Totally get that. Okay. Um, how do you manage dance work in your student life? Sorry, did I just say student life? Well, I just said student life. I meant social work. <laughs> social life. Oh my god, I get my words straight. But 
but also like when you were in college like how do you balance everything like in general like how do you just balance everything in general yeah so i would say in college so basically after my 12th uh, i wanted to go i wrote my sat i wait you have to that. do that yeah so oh, <laughs> basically i i wanted i wanted to do my bachelor's abroad but then uh, i wanted to do my ranga pravesham also so that is the main reason i stayed back in hyderabad to do my ranga pravesham so so i stayed back i did my bachelor's in hyderabad remember what college hyderabad. you wanted to go to here did you, did i you wanted have... to go to uni- university of glasgow i got into university of glasgow to in uk so basically i wrote sat sat uh, to apply for us colleges too but i was more interested in uk colleges did you say so did I you got, say that um did you say your brother goes here or something yeah he is in chicago so he is oh, okay. in yeah. illinois state university he's doing engineering yeah yeah do you remember any colleges that you wanted to go to here um, uh, i wanted to go to usc or uiuc so those two colleges i wanted to go to yeah so but more than that i wanted to i got admissions in university of glasgow so but i stayed back because i wanted to do my ranga pravesham i wanted to continue dance and everything so i stayed back here so so the main reason i stayed back here was dance right yeah. so so i always had time for dance i used to go for classes thrice a week and i used to practice all my items i used to i used to do weight training for my ranga pravesham because it is very important to strengthen your body right so yeah. and develop our stamina for our ranga pravesham now that you're doing seven items <laughs> stamina is very important yeah i so, can i could feel that i actually improved because in the beginning my teacher always be like hands up bend your knees hands up bend your knees but now i think yeah. it's just so conscious that i could i'm able to like go over what i can generally do like yeah so basically like you said in our conversation that you know if you love something you will find time so you don't have to think and you know plan to balance your work life or college life with dance and everything so if you love something it'll just fall in place so i don't have to make much uh, you know um it's like natural preparation. Right? yeah it's naturally oh. there you know it's naturally i'm able to put time in dance so it's natural so i don't have to think about it or you know plan my day and all so but yeah so if you love dancing so you can put time so yeah i totally yeah. Agree. also i've been I don't know. I've been like stressed about like just like life in general. I never thought I would come to the point where I have to like do these like standardized tests to get into. I never even thought of college when I was like in middle school or beginning of high school. I was literally like the most chill person. Sometimes I wouldn't even care about my grades. I would just be like, okay, like there was times where I was literally like, I'm gonna go to this basketball game instead, or like go to this. Like play this game instead, instead of like do, study for a test tomorrow. So sometimes I'm literally just like I need to do something else other than education. So I'm literally finally mm-hmm. to the point where I'm thinking, oh my god, like I came like such a long way, and like I started to get stressed out and stuff. And the whole thing with like college and like where you get in, I'm like that all doesn't matter. Like it just does not matter as much. It's not life or death. You know, if you don't get it. like it's great if you do and it is like i do encourage myself to get a good score in act and like go to co- a good college like it's not life or death like i promised you can like there's like many other ways like to do stuff so i ne- like i thought about like just like like sort of like what i wanted to do and since i really like sports like um i really want to go into like that sort of field and also like i'm um i'm like a mental health advocate and all that so Um I think also like this is one of the things like the whole thing was like dance and like the mental health part I feel like they have like like a connection and like all that so I think everything just worked out for me and also like 
I thought there was like I liked dance so much I just never wanted to stop like I've seen when I see seen people from India they're like um some of like Kishore master's students they're like 40 or I don't know how old they are but they like have kids and stuff and um so they like continue I just think that's like I just look back um to the uh, like past and I'm like why did I not think that before like but then now I look back to the present I'm like I want to be that person that is still 50 and still dancing because I think it's so special to me that um I just want to do that so I thought of like I really wanted to go to India because I wanted to like focus like on dance so actually weird things so last year I told my parents I was like can I just move to India next year and then COVID hit right <laughs> It was like I was thinking of like to do my college and like all that stuff. I, I don't know it was just all complicated but then I was like I'm just gonna stay here I'm just gonna so like I'm trying to figure it out because I don't know especially the track that I want to do it requires a master's too and all, like all that and um so I basically want to do like um, be a mental health therapist and like stuff like that so I don't know it's just like sort of complicated with that job and everything the education also, when you go to India, there's not that many options. Like, um, especially yeah, yeah. My, when my grandpa was teaching at Osmania, he he actually had to come here to do his master's. I don't know if they didn't have master's at that time, but he also did. He was a psychologist, so he said there's no, like, there's, so basically we have, like, human sciences here. We have, like, so many different areas. Like, I don't know, like, we have sociology, psychology, we have social work. We have, like, I don't know, we have, like in masters, we have like marriage and family therapy. We have like, I don't know, so many things. But then when you compare it to India, like they don't have like that much stuff. So my brain is just like shuffling everywhere. I'm like, I want to go to India. I want to like do like intensive training under like a good guru and stuff. But then I'm like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It just sort of is like hard to like figure out all that stuff. It's like stressful. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Everything will fall in place, you know. So don't put so yeah. much effort in thinking all this. See, ev- everything happens for a reason. Plan, it's not gonna happen like that, especially for me because I am not a big planner. I just randomly do things. So sometimes, yeah, I- that is how you should be too, right? So don't just waste, uh, you know, your energy about you know everything so don't just overthink about everything yeah so let it go in the flow everything will fall in place yeah I know what you mean it's just that like I'm sometimes like my motivation goes like whack like when things don't work out but Mm -hmm. I don't know like like you said like it could just like go with the flow like yeah. yeah is there anything else you want to share about yourself or anything like that uh I think I have shared everything right yeah yeah Um, yeah everything is yeah I I have shared everything I think okay this was the last question actually I think you sort of already answered it it was Mm -hmm. um what is the one skill dance has taught you like dance like not your teacher but like dance I don't know if we went over it but that was like you you uh, um, you mentioned discipline but I think yeah was like when I asked like and I, I would yeah I would say dignity and to be um yeah I would say dignity like and and to be more uh, like a girl because <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah, so I would say dignity more than anything and being uh, grateful for everything in life. So these are the two skills. I think when you said dignity and about like, I think that like sort of hit me. Like, I think that's interesting that you said that because I think my mind has always been around dance and sports, like all my life, like nothing else. Like I also really love animals, but those are the only things that like my mind so I think when I was younger, so since I have a brother, I'm really grateful to him because that's how he got me into sports. So I used to dress up like, not like a tomboy, but like, you know, like I would wear a t-shirt and shorts and I would wear basketball shoes. You know, sometimes my parents would say like, like, 
I don't know, like, all the things that I was sort of doing, you know, people thought that was more for boys, but I was like, wait, why can't girls do that, you know? And then when it hit me that, like, um, like, dance has kept me, like, so close to, like, I don't know, a lot of the items I do are, like, so, like, feminine, like, yeah like, girly so, yeah. so when yeah. I was doing my shiva item like my my teacher tells me like this is different like you have to like you're showing like a male character so you have to True. do this and this and yeah so I think like when you said that about um like it kept you like like about the girl thing I think it just sort of like triggered my memory too yeah um, yeah yeah True. Anything else, or is that it? Nothing else. Okay. Um. Well, I felt like we had a really good conversation. Yeah. Thanks for no problem. And all the best for your the journey of Rang Observation. Just have fun. Yeah. You know, embrace every moment in, in this journey. Because you're not going to get back this journey. So enjoy dancing on stage. Enjoy yourself in this process. Just don't think about anything. Just don't overthink about anything. Just let it go and flow. Okay? So, yeah. I would want to say that. Just wanted to say that. Yeah. Um. Any other advice you want to give to anyone? Or is that, like, your main thing? I know you were, like, directing it towards me. Like, yeah. like anything else you want to say I would say so just you know continue dancing and just follow your passion every girl deserves to you know follow their passion no matter what without any restriction so just follow your heart I would just want to say that okay yeah Okay, thank you for everything again. Thank you, Anvita. It was lovely, lovely conversation we had. I agree. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.